information I wanted to give you. It was making me laugh. So I was listening to, got a lot of War on the Run out, got a lot of uh, Robert Rogers info. And uh, so after there was a battle, yeah. in, I think it was 1757, mm -hmm. Fort William Henry fell to the French from the British. The British had it, French took it. Where was this? In uh, like by Lake Champlain. Okay. Like up, upstate New York. Yeah. And uh, thank God I didn't say Michigan. Go on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Michigan. So it goes back to Michigan. Uh, so the French were teammates with the Indians in this mm -hmm. war. They were allies. And the French were like, British, you better fucking surrender because I don't think we can control these boys. And they want to fuck you up. They're going to do wild shit to you. Yeah. So the British agreed to the surrender where they were like, and the French were like, we'll let you go. You can keep your fucking arms. You can fucking just, you just walk out of here. And the Indians were like, dude, that's soft as fuck. This is pussy shit. As soon as the French, like, as soon as the, the procession of men leaving mm -hmm. started going, the, the Indians just fucked them up. Like, we're just scalping fucking dudes, like, just killing them while they were walking out. And uh, here's what was funny. This, these dudes didn't get enough scalps, so they dug up the graves of the dudes that were just buried during the fight yeah. and just started scalping dead bodies out of the graves. But what they didn't know is some of those guys died from smallpox. So then they brought oh. all those scalps back to their tribes, like in Michigan. Oh. <laughs> they all died from small. Oh. So what's funny about that is obviously <laughs> we're taught about the white genocide of uh, the, the white genocide, the genocide committed by white people, giving them smallpox blankets. Yeah. Which I'm not saying we didn't. Yeah. But at at least a very small scale, some of the smallpox was just get a little greedy with the scalps. Getting greedy with the scalps. <laughs> he took a couple extra scalps, which I thought was... Very funny. Yeah, imagine digging up a dead body and scalping it. Also, too, to have be like, why the fuck am I sick now? Well, have I think no they were nibbling on them, too. They nibbled on Stop, a couple. Dude. Yeah, they nibbled a couple. You nibble a scalp? No, they nibbled the dudes. They'd bite you. They'd fucking the dead care. guys? Yeah, they'd eat dudes after battle sometimes. They would fry them up. Fair enough. Yeah. That must be so satisfying to not only beat somebody, but to then eat them. Eat their fucking heart. Yeah, to like beat a person, yeah. lose, have them lose. Oh, and dude, there's a body. funny ass story. These, uh, I think it was the Miami. They switched sides and joined the British, mm -hmm. and then the French and Indian came out and fucked them up. And then at the end of the battle, like boiled like six of them in front of their families and ate them. And then after the Miami was like, "No, we're on your side." Like they immediately joined back. Pretty funny. Wait, they, how did that work? How did what work? Who boiled who? I'm, I'm lost. Right. So there was a tribe of Indians that switched. And joined the British. Yeah. They were like, we like what these guys are up to. <laughs> so immediately the French and Indians came out and fucked them up for doing that. Yeah. And then ate a couple of them in front of their tribe. And the whole tribe was like, all right, our bad. Deal's off with the British. We're back with you guys. Oh, God. If you guys are munching us. You got boiled, too. I mean, people were munching. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. That's hard. That's the French horrendous. just had to sit there and be like, oh, shit, dude. These guys are wild. Yeah, that's your ally yeah, too. That's your squad, and like they were even telling the British, like, dude, you guys better give up. Yeah, these because we cannot stop these dudes. They're coming in. They're sending them like letters, like, look. Yo. <laughs> I know you guys think you know what's going on here right now, but like this They're shit like, is so we fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> we fucked up. <laughs> shit, but you guys need to watch out. <laughs> yeah, pretty fun stuff. Where'd you get a pot big enough to boil a uh, an Englishman? They have pots, dude. Yeah, the cauldrons. Yeah, they have big cauldrons in the center of the fucking town. They're like, everyone, this is what happens. Jesus You're Christ. munched. Congratulations. You are now munched. Yeah, that's bizarre. It's also a uh, – I mean, it's one thing, too. Like, everyone said this a million times, but it is funny to think about, like, the problems people used to deal with versus the problems Holy now. Holy fuck. And it's just, like, it just pale. Dude, these people, Paris. like, the what happens when you get, like, fucking scurvy and small – like, yeah, it's the worst shit in the world. Like your legs swell up and your all your like you, all your joints are fucking your your fucking gums blister and pop like they swell up and you just die or you just lay in a cabin for like three weeks it's wild Ugh. yeah and then I mean if you just lived out on the frontier if you heard someone coming you were like well we're dead yeah like if someone just came to visit or like walked by you were like oh fuck well this they're is gonna fun. fuck us up they're gonna eat us we're getting boiled we're getting boiled yeah. that was a problem like often. Getting the lobster treatment. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the uh, that was something. I was reading the news recently, and they were talking about um, it was a Trump rally in Tulsa. And they were like, <laughs> so funny, dude. They were like, Trump, you, yo, if you watch that, you're gonna be like, is it ridiculous? Oh my god. Well, yes. they were they were like, 
in the for the rally they were like oh do you guys know by the way there was like a horrible racial massacre here yeah. in the 1800s so now it's like with the news is now like looper where they're just like oh also this year in 1800 there's a horrible massacre <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, dude yeah. i mean I, I get the point but it's also like well doesn't he know there's a horrible massacre here it's like dude yeah he uh, did it yeah and i think initially the rally in tulsa was on juneteenth oh uh, and tulsa's probably the last city you should do that in. so they were like five, yeah. scale it back they, i think they pushed it back a day yeah well it's also it's one of those things too where it's like i have no fucking i didn't know that so it's like if you're if you had no idea what juneteenth was you're not a student of history and you're like i'm thinking tulsa what do you think about that <laughs> yeah like you would have to scan the fucking annals of history well, like was there, Tulsa's, have, uh, was there a genocide there did you see Watchmen? no opening in tulsa it was just on hbo that was, was the scene that was the opening scene yeah, yeah. Tulsa was pretty rough. Dude, they had – in Tulsa, they had planes. Mm-hmm. They attacked the black town with planes. Yeah. They were throwing bombs out of actual planes. So why don't they tell – why don't they ever talk about that in history class? They they will now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's going to be another thing too. When you're in history class in high school and they're like, um, then the government bombed a black town and everyone's like <laughs> – <laughs> All right, so yeah. don't fail the test. And then, like, what happens if someone fails? Like, and I think also, it was the 1920s. Oh, this is recent. It's pretty recent. So this wasn't that long ago. They had a plane. I thought it was, like, way longer ago. No. No, in fact, I think they called it Black Wall Street. Why did they so, – oh, that – Tulsa was Black Wall Street? I believe. So they bombed – Yeah, and I think it started when a – sorry, I'm taking my fucking keys out. Um, see that Planet Fitness keychain? I see that. Behold. <laughs> <laughs> just look at my failure that what? I keep on my keychain. You don't go? No, it's been no, it's not since like January. Well, you've been still paying. I mean, I'm social, just I keep that on just in case. I you're stop social in. distancing, bro. Yeah. Otherwise, I was definitely gonna be for sure. Up the gym. So they bombed. Uh, is that, is that what Black Wall Street yeah, I think was? What, I bombed? think what happened. I could be wrong here. I think a bunch of white people, a black dude, committed a crime. Mm-hmm. And back then, it's very like Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, did he? Uh, <laughs> so I think a bunch of white dudes were going to try to lynch him, mm-hmm. and then a bunch of black dudes from that town came and fucked them up. Yeah, and they got in like a gunfight, and then that actually ended up resulting in just a whole bunch of whites coming through. I mean, they were like, "I right, get the plane," <laughs> like, <laughs> like a military plane, or someone had like uh, a an old crop duster. I mean, not that you know. I forget. Well, it I matters. think I think it had something to do with the National Guard. Like, I think they like. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, yeah, true. But, but it was so. This was a pretty well known fact because I was like, I never, I didn't know yeah, about that. This is rough. Also, Juneteenth. They there's people that are like bewildered by the fact that it was two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, was when these. But it was because there was still a civil war. And yeah, they were in the South. Yeah, but my, my larger point like is like nobody in the South was like, well, he called it. We got to stop. Yeah. You know? Well, this is, my larger point isn't to be like, oh, you know, that's all bullshit. It's like. No, I, I don't think you they're, think it's bullshit. No, well, they're peppering, uh, yeah. they're peppering the narrative with like, you know, they're just like, boom, we're, we're, we're basically, this is like the, right now, from my view, it's like, we're convincing people this is like the black apocalypse. This is like, they're killing you, they're picking you off, you're being hunted yeah. by the police, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then it's like, oh, and by the way, remember in 1920 when they did this too? And then there's like, I was reading the news where there were sh- <laughs> shootings in a. Uh, at the Juneteenth parties, they're like, there was uh, one person was just shot. They didn't talk about like any sort of suspect or anything. They're like, someone also fired into a crowd. Again, no suspect <laughs> or anything. So they're just like, somebody got shot at a Juneteenth party. Back to you. And it's like, what the fuck? Isn't yeah. your job to like sift through and maybe get some more details as like what the fuck happened? Who's the suspect? But they're not doing any of that. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's a little, it gets wacky. It gets weird. Just by the way things are being presented. It's like. And yeah. again, more, the, you know, right now it's, it's election year. It's just been going on forever. So it's like, you know, it, it, to me, it's not like whether or not things exist or not. It's like, why are things being per, per, like, just everything's being hit in this like horrible, uh, man. And I, I do think too, I think the Democrats are really worried they were losing the black vote for a while there. And I think they might've turned up the jam. I think they cranked up the jam in terms of like piping stuff out. That's, that's my theory. It's a possibility, dude. It's a possibility. It is. But, you know. I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't understand any of it. I don't get it, dude. Yeah, what's, fucking, what's going on? I'm confused. Um, dude, I just came back from Chicago. Oh, how was that? <sighs> it was miserable, bro. Yeah. It's miserable, dude. That must have been tough because normally you're optimistic. I am. I am. Normally, like, when I call you and I'm like, how's it going? You're like, eh, it's not that bad. Yeah. 
This was the first one where you're like, this thing stunk. And I was like, oh man. And I still, I still it was. I By the way, cool. I know your weekend. I would have, I would have, I would have spazzed, dude. <laughs> I would have cried. I would have frustrated cried. I've been getting good at just letting things, just not trying to change Ooh. the way things are. I can be, I can just accept a thing, and I'm like, this dude. I had to walk sucks. into Nashville, and I spazzed. Why? In downtown, because there are too many bachelorette parties. And I was like, where, where are we going? Where are we going? You tell me where we're going. You don't even know. <laughs> I, had, I had one spaz. I, I finally, I was, dude, I was complete. I was the sublime one, dude. All yeah, you week. were very I subliminal. I was chilling. And like nothing, it was like, dude, it was this, leading up to that from Wednesday or maybe Tuesday, we got, we were getting no sleep. Because Maya's molars are coming in, so it was like we're up. I'm already done, dude. Four, dude I'd I'm, be... I flew into Chicago on like three days of not getting sleep already. With this a kid just wiggling, trying to just not go to sleep on a plane, just being like. Mm. So was, she, was she loud on the plane, or are you were good? Oh, she's loud as hell, bro. Oh. She's screaming, but she will. She eventually fell asleep. So she, oh, dude, I could care less, oh. dude. When the baby cries, I'm just like, dare I dare someone to say something? Yeah, yeah, of course, no one's gonna say but, anything. But man, when that baby sits behind you on a plane, I don't. I, I'd that like genuinely to turn doesn't bother me. And fucking shut the fuck up. No, just grab its head. It never bothers. Whenever I hear babies cry, I always I can drown it out. Yeah, I mean, usually but, I have cool songs playing. I'm usually true. listening to Drake on my way to the that, that Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> you hear? <laughs> yeah, it really kills the vibe, of dude, Drake. Yeah, true. Drake, yeah, Drake seems like he would be annoyed. No crying babies. Yeah, Drake. He would never like, be in coach. Yeah, he doesn't like that no. energy, dude. No. Can you even bring a baby in first class? I think if your baby cries if on first class, first they class, flush it down I'd, the toilet. Yes, I'd be fuming. They just kick it off the plane. If I, if I bought a first class ticket and had to sit next to a crying baby, yeah, dude. I would cry. <laughs> 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 I paid all my money for this ticket. Dude, we fuck. So we're already, I'm on like an absolute just time vortex. I have not slept in three days. We fly yeah. out. To uh, Chicago, flight is, you know, it's just miserable flying with a kid. It sucks. So we're doing all that. Um, and then we get there and we're in this hotel. And, dude, I thought the hotel, I was in the hotel like years ago. And I swear it was awesome. We got there and it sucked. It was just <laughs> shitty. It was just a sh- we're in a shitty hotel. God, shitty hotels are Dude, terrible. it was like depressing. Dude, when you're in a shitty hotel, it's oh. depressing. Like, you know, because I always it's walk into nice hotels and I'm like, do they really need all this quality shit? And you walk into <laughs> one without one, you're like, this is like a yeah. shitty apartment. Where's this gold chandelier? Yeah. Like a what the shitty... fuck is this? I'm just in like just a... an Indian guy that lives behind the desk. Yeah, dude. I... You ever They're... run into those? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, they always live back there. Yeah. This is a sick setup. Yeah. I was always, it's funny, when I was younger, I was jealous of that job. You know how like people see trash men are like, I want to be that. Yes. And the parents have to be like, no, you don't. Yeah. Like, Looks right. up in your house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But. That that's been that's been a nice dream of mine to just sleep, <laughs> work late night, work night shifts at a hotel, and just live behind the desk, dude. That could be how I retire. <laughs> if things don't go well, I'm doing that. It probably rules, dude. Get a cot, you talk to hookers cot, all night. You sit at the front desk, you fucking check in. Here's yeah. breakfast is nine to six. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, and then you go back to your room. There's video a, games. There's a bro masturbating. Who messages us on Patreon. He does. This is he, he works. I don't know. He, I don't think desk. he has the cot, but he works at a hotel. You need a cot. He works at a hotel, and he's like, bro, I'm constantly seeing like hookers and like just fucked up shit going down. You see hookers like bring their kids in and shit. Mm. Yeah, he's like, it's yeah, fucking brutal. You think bringing a kid on a plane. You think bad. a hotel is all fun and games, bro? Yeah. Yeah, it's like I thought about that. I was like, so yeah, we're there. It's just you know, it's just shitty. But we uh, at one point it's just me and Mike because Brittany was in the bridal party, so she's mm-hmm. like just doing all the shit constantly so we're just in a hotel trying to like order food from fucking Grubhub and shit it was a fucking it was a nightmare dude it was a total fucking nightmare so like <laughs> so at one point you know we're like sitting there she wouldn't what sleep I'd like to see you frustrated in the room that'd be funny I just you like <laughs> I just get a thousand yard stare I just blank as soon as I catch myself getting frustrated I just check in and just go you're frustrated right now brother <laughs> just, gotta let, it, just gotta let it go it's mindfulness what are you talking about <laughs> It's mindfulness. I just let myself in a go. Shitty hotel in Chicago. Like, don't let it get to you, brother. Dude, literally. <laughs> Your inner monologue. That's my inner monologue. Hulk Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> It'll be Sunday soon enough, brother. Yeah, true. Dude, and this was all the anticipation. It was a Sunday wedding too. So like, I was there Friday. Sat. I was at the rehearsal dinner, dude. Show up. I show up, and you know, I'm the South Side of Chicago. I'm the only white dude. You yes. Know? So I show up, I get, I go to the back room. The first person I'm going to go in there goes, excuse me, sir, the bathroom's here. And I was like, oh, excuse me? I'm actually with I'm the actually wedding. here? Yeah. So I just sat there for like two hours and just like watched them rehearse the wedding. Oh my God. And just God. chilled. I was just chilling. You had though. to watch the rehearsal? Yeah. Because, yeah. 
Jesus they're they're a little behind schedule, bro. No big deal. Started a little late. Started a little late, dude. I'm talking like it was insane. Really? Oh my god. So it's not just comedy shows that start late. This was this was wild. This really? Was, this How was, late? Oh, well, it was yeah. It was uh, the dinner. It's supposed to be rehearsal than the dinner, and I showed up for the dinner, and lo and behold, it's like oh cool the rehearsal. Yeah. It was, it was like, and you got to watch the rehearsal. I watched the whole thing. Fuck, just dude. sat there, and it was like you know, it's like mask. What are people wearing masks? People not wearing them. A lot of people wearing mm. a lot of black patriots out there not wearing them. True. Pumped on that. Dude, in Chicago, I thought they'd all be spellbound by their mayor. Dude, in the shitty hotel I was in. Yeah. Nobody was wearing them. Yeah. Nobody. They did look at you. <laughs> it was, dude. It was just funny. Yeah. But um, but yeah, dude, it was it was cool. The wedding itself was fucking. I just I took my mushroom microdose out. You know, it was wedding protocol. Yes. Showed oh, yeah. up. Did you get a little? Uh, you have a drink or two? No, I just I had a, I just had a couple glasses of wine. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Chilled there. And how uh, many glasses? Just two. I chilled you were there. Feeling good though. I was fucking yeah. chilling. Yeah. I, was, I was at like a just a table of like when they just throw Mushrooms, a bunch of random a couple people. Glasses of wine. Yeah, man. Yeah. Watching the I was just, it was just speeches too, dude. So many speeches. Mm. I watched. There was like three bridal party speeches. A best man speech, a, a brother speech. Somewhat, the grandpa came out and started. I, dude, I, I kept almost crying too. I don't know if it was the mushrooms. I was getting like really moved. Because you're ready, dude. I was getting moved. Because your big day. True. <laughs> this is gonna be my day someday, dude. The grand, the grandfather. You already had a day, you selfish pig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a groomzilla, dude. You are. I'm such a groomzilla, dude. Everything better be perfect. I'm gonna. Snap. Oh, I hope you spaz and cry at your wedding. No way, dude. Everything's not perfect. <laughs> we could. Yeah, I um. Dude, I was sitting there. Shane, you're drunk. <laughs> you couldn't keep it together for one day. <laughs> I was watching, dude, the, the brides, the shit my wife had to do. And her cousin's like super nice. But it's just like the level of shit of like the descent with like there's so, there's a lot of people in the bridal party will like try to be like, well, I don't want to do that. And they all start fucking fighting. Yeah, it's, it's ladies. It's crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they're so bad at hanging out. Well, that's because they always make other people do things. True. Ladies are constantly like, we're doing this. Yeah, man. I don't. I'd never do that to. People. It's crazy. That's I'd what, never do that to. People. Dude, it's insane. Well, I did just buy a beach house and make everyone go to Florida. But no, that's that's fun. I didn't care if no one. Okay, went. imagine if you were like oh, guys and like just for one night, can we all just coordinate outfits? Yeah. And get you take a picture, and someone's like, "Can I wear this?" And you're like, no. God, she's such a bitch all the time. Dude, it's it's wild, bro. Yes, it's wild. We should start coordinating more outfits. I mean, I'm just gonna. This is you can coordinate. Yeah. This. All I'm wearing in Florida is a bathing suit. I'm gonna bring four bathing suits. Are you excited for a beach trip? Oh, I can't fucking wait, dude. Damn. I Gardini, can't. sorry, man. Big kids only. You're, you're the little back kids. On big kids only. Yo, if you strap them things, you strap them things, you dude. You don't have to you don't have to carry any drugs, but I'll do that. If you want to come, you can. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna seek some drugs in. It was funny. Spud was like, I'm bringing mushrooms. I was like, Easy, easy. Don't do that. And he was like, Man Tom said it was cool. I was like, don't listen to Man Tom. <laughs> Capsule format, dude. It's a supplement. It's yeah, in you're a vitamin bottle. Through. I'm gonna. I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. True. This weekend. <laughs> it's my medicine, dude. Yes. What are they going to do? They're going to force me to take a fucking experimental vaccine. Well, now almost one of them. FDA approved. approved. Although, looking to the FDA, they've done a lot of bad things. But the No, I love the FDA. FDA? I love them. Nah. They're, I mean, it's good they're there. What do you What do you think I love more than food and drugs? <laughs> <laughs> of course I love the association no, or whatever I think the fuck they are. I think are. they're doing their best job. It's just, you know, let me fly with, let me fly with mushrooms. They will let you fly with mushrooms. They do. They no don't care. They don't fuck. care about the weed pens. They, no. they genuinely man, don't give a fuck. Man, they'll fucking nail you for a bottle of water. Yeah. That's, Jesus you Christ. Can't you know, wait water. fucking 25 minutes when they go through all your shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Because you forgot a bottle of water yeah, in your book We brought bag. coconut milk with us. Um, but there's the thing. If you have a baby, you yeah. can bring liquids and be like, that's for the baby. Yes. This, dude, one lady was just like, this is baby food. I'm like, come on, lady. Like, we give it to the fucking kid. It's like, no, I eat it. And I, I did drink it, though. Coconut milk is so delicious. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> They're coconut smoothies. It's just this little bottle. It's just just coconut milk yes. and coconut water. And you you eat the baby's them. foods? I like the baby's foods all the time. Those are good foods. Oh, yeah. Chocolate coconut milk? So milk? you go to this horrendous fucking garbage wedding. I won't say that. Right? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It was fun. Yes. At one, yeah, it was at one point, too. Uh, was there cool dancing? Dude, there was a thing. There was no dancing. I was all... You went to a black wedding and they... Oh, it was... It, the only, here's, so this is what happened. So it's like the speeches ran so long. It's a Sunday wedding. They ran the light. It ran the light. You should have... A lot of guest spots. There's a lot of guest lot spots of going guest, on. Love guest spots. A lot of guest spots. And uh, at one point, this like grandfather comes out, and he was just like, he's so old, dude. And he was like, I I just can't put the feeling I have for this girl into words. I just love her. And I was just like, 
to start fucking about the dude. I was, uh, it's, yeah, it's I was at a table with like mostly baby. literally most exactly mostly gay dudes who were like, oh my god, wrap it up, and I was yeah, like, you're like, yeah, yeah. The whole time, it's beautiful speech. The one, it was the a one, beautiful speech. The one Thank dude you. actually, the the uh, <laughs> this is something. This is a phenomenon I've seen at wedding where like the groomsmen have been putting on like they do like stand up sets now, dude. They go hard. Get ready for yours, dude. It's gonna be I'm, sick. I'm dude. working on a set. Epic, dude. Dude, it's gonna be epic. I'm just gonna do my hour. You should. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, Trump. You guys remember Trump? <laughs> that was a good speaker too. My brother Tom. I bet he's decent. I'm terrible. I'm actually bad. I, I, it makes me. I'm very bad. Gives at me the speaking. willies. Yeah. I'm hoping Bert. Oh, by the way, Bert. Free Bert. Bert's out of free jail. Bert, Bert home. Bert's out of jail. He Bert's wants to home. come back on. Oh, nice. He's during his, he was locked up all during COVID. He was in county jail. They, they stuck he him in there. He, he couldn't get out because his trial get put, they get put, all got pushed back. Oh, no. Dude, his stories are they're just so funny. Yes. Why didn't we have him on? He's, he's, he, got, he got out and he got this job now where he's just like, nobody wants to work. So I, he's like, I've been getting the best jobs. So he got a, awesome. he's got a job where they're flying him around the country to install LED lights and he's getting like $55 an hour. Oh, no. He's in like Mississippi right now, dude. No, <laughs> no it's good for him. It's good. He needs, he's out, he's moving around, dude. Yeah. Bert, he might be the funniest dude in the world. Nice. Just like his like little revenge schemes he got on like people in jail. And dude, it's so funny. Good. It's, I look forward to that episode. Um, I, can't, I don't want to spoil it. The story, True. the one story was just tickling me and I'm like, I'll, I'll wait till he Fuck. comes. But yeah, he's doing, he's, he's like, yeah, man, fucking nobody wants to work. So I came out and I was a project manager right away. I'm a project manager. So I, he'd come back to his fucking recovery house and he'd come in and keep his shirt tucked in. He'd be like, hey, guys, project manager's back. <laughs> he started bossing around people. He's like, she's like, yeah, I had these old dudes like really fucking hated me. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny that like uh, oh. people aren't working yeah. and they're still not taking the vax. They're like just sitting home <laughs> taking the government's checks and the government's like, will you please get the vaccine? No. They're like, no. no. <laughs> Keep sending us money. Well, that's going to change. That's bro. awesome. They're going to be able to hook to the, the government. Money. Stop giving people money, dude. Did they stop already? No, they should. I just got my stimulus check. Did you? I just got it. 1400 I got it this week. Wait, what stimulus? I don't know. I got a stimulus check for $1,400. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I was like, I don't need this. I owe them. I'm going to owe them money. Yeah, they're going to take it back. Yeah. So just keep it. Put it on my bro. tab, dude. They're baiting you. They're going to get me. Yeah, they the are. The IRS is going to be in my ass, dude. They're, yeah. Pause. Yeah, true. <laughs> But yeah, the wedding was good. The wedding was all good. <laughs> we ducked out of this. This is what I meant to tell you. So you're asking about dancing. I, you know, I'm, I'm primed up. I'm ready to roll, dude. You know, I'm fucking kind Fuck. of, I'm an underdog story getting ready to go out there and do my stuff. Just the groomsmen went out and danced. It was all the dudes. Just yeah. dudes. The opposite dude. It's fucking, I was like, what the hell? It's just dudes. And it's like, they're singing that, you know, the outcast song, like, yes. I choose you. Yes. They all come out and it's like, I, and I watch this as like. You just sit there and rap along with your boys and just kind of like do. I just did that. That was did more, really? that was one of the hit songs at the karaoke. Remember, I went to the African American yeah. karaoke party yeah, and you sang uh, your choice. I choose was poor. you was that was my choice was poor. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be a fun gag. <laughs> you didn't, Skinner with the fucking. You didn't think they're gonna put the fucking stars and bars well, behind you. Not good. So wait, they did. I choose you. Yeah, dude. It's like I, I, maybe they're practicing for a wedding because these dudes came out and were polished, dude. Yeah, I was they all know. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm not, dude, they were like, like spaceships and they're like, do all the hand, Whoa. Shoot, sorry, my bad, but the, uh, pause, my bad, pause, dude, dude, pause, but yeah, they're doing like the, they're like just fucking like yeah. rapping along and like, they knew all the cool stuff to do, like the ad libs and stuff or whatever. And uh, the pantomimes, I should say. And, uh, yeah, I just got, I just was like kind of intimidated and I just sat there really? and I was like, can you guys have people? True. Again? It does suck when you don't know the words. Everyone else is rapping. Well, I feel weird like, too coming out and like kind of knowing the lyrics. You say a couple and then, you know, when you fuck up a lyric and you just have to like keep talking. Risky business too. Cause sticks. I'm rapping along with people True. and it's like, I might just True. go on autopilot mode. Yes. And fucking ruin my career, dude. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> oh man. That'd be a tough place to hit one. Yeah. I, I just, I yeah. didn't know. I thought this was the edited version. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, do the, uh, so yeah, I watched them do that. By then it was winding down, so I just uh, I was like, we hit the breath. I'm like, let's fucking roll. Nice. So, yeah, dodge that bullet. I just don't like any song. Shane, when you were in the bathroom, <laughs> Steven said to us, he didn't know the SNL story. I was told during the taping that he made an Asian joke. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not. I'm not aware of Shane. Gilles. I'll be honest. I, I, was I respect goofing around. him. I was goofing around. He goofed around, around one he time. He was goofing. He was goofing with the boy. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a fair excuse. <laughs> What's the uh? So Shane, what's Shane, all you have to you say, have the upper hand here. Shane, all you have to say is you were given some guff. Yes, you're just giving guff. guff. You're giving guff. 
You're either giving guff or you want to wrestle right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, He's fuck. You have two choices. You have two choices. Even Guff or wrestle. No, no, I, have to, I have to defend like several billion people on this. <laughs> so <laughs> you're either giving Guff or you are in wrestle. What if and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll, I will I will accept either. Okay. Before you answer. So yeah, yeah. You will win. Yeah. You will win. I don't know about that. But decide it. But decide it right now. Were you giving Guff or were you Making fun of Asians. Wait, wait, wait. Before he answers. <laughs> before I mean, before he answers. Shay, look at Shay in the face. No, two choices. Before, before, two choices. Before Shay answers. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Before Shay answers. Before Shay answers. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> before Shay answers, he should know that I watch WWE and WCW, and I watch Thunder, this Nitro, see that. Oh, Nitro, yeah, Braun, SmackDown. Cool. So... <laughs> Whatever so he, he accepts, I will abide by it. Look at Che in the eye. You have two options. You have two options. All right. For real, though, when it when it comes to goofing around about Asians, when I got fired from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> you giving guff? I, for real, was just joshing, dude. You was oh, giving guff. guff. See? You giving guff. I was just giving guff. That's that's you just giving guff. That's I think fair. You, I, think you guys were, I think you guys are pretty chill. Wow. Wow. Nice shirt. What sound does a wolf make? Wolves. <laughs> Steven, he was joshing. Are, I'll be honest, dude. You guys have been getting up. knocked out a lot lately. <laughs> yeah. He was giving up. But if you will, you guys have been getting jo- knocked out a little bit lately. <laughs> knocked out All right, a little well, bit lately. Tie, tiebreaker, tiebreaker. Yeah, Steve, he's telling the truth. Will Compton on the, toss Will Compton. Shane, to see if you're telling the truth, what's your order at Chinese food? Oh, 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 everyone shut up. Yeah, everyone take it. shut up. Everyone yeah. shut up. And hold on. Before you answer... This is either going to result in a fight between you and I, a wrestling match, you or you're cool. Okay. Well, I knew I, I love that ultimate. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah, think you know, about I'm it. I'm going to take this. my glasses off to wrestle you. Oh, you're okay, will you? <laughs> I'll, I'll be in there in five seconds. You will. You will. You fucking absolute nobody. Oh, no. Come You think I know who you are? I don't. Hey, come in. I love all of them. Ever heard of you either? Hey, come in. Good. Good. Shane, but right, let him give right. his orders. Now it has Shane, to Hold on, shut up. Let Shane give his order. Amazing. I'm giving you this choice. Give your order. You're gonna make you're gonna give make your order. I have I have a direct You're we're fighting in line right now. <laughs> and if you say it, I'm coming in there in three seconds and we're wrestling. I don't care if you stand up or not, I'm taking you out. I'm tipping your chair over. You're gonna be oh, in that man. revitalite oh, thing. What yes. a bummer. Yes, yes, man. yes. yes. A Maybe. Bummer. Yes, start. Maybe. So I know you're like a guy who's like an extra here at the office, and you're sure. trying your best no. to like be a main character. Damn. Serious. Dude, he's coming at your neck because you won. Serious. Honestly, he's com- He's trying to. Uh, he's I like he's this king of the order. order. You. He's Give trying to order. Of January 26, 2003. We Jay, shut down the well. vet. I know. Chad, you're doing. Well. Oh, shut down wow. the vet, bro. I don't want to hear about the vet, dude. Right? You'll wrestle two man. people if you keep on yep. talking about yeah. the vet. Yeah, Todd Pinks and I know. You guys brought me in here. Yeah, I, 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 I drank all the beers. I did what I had to do. I'm trying but, to. Not Chad. Not Chad. Just say like that you that. ordered General So's chicken and hey, you'll be good. Say your order. That's say your fact. order. Chad, you have Rangoon and you'll be good. I can't just say that. What a bummer, dude. Chad, you have to. Ron is right. Say your order. Say you like General So's chicken. You know what I like? order. You know what I like a lot? I like Ron is giving the cheat sheet. Jay, I love general, you, but general. you you cross the line verbally. You have to come in here after no, that. No, 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 no. Shane, Shane, one hundred percent gives a fair shake. I like Shane. I, I saw him when he came well, in. I watched said, him oh, to make oh, it up. Oh, oh. Say your order, Shane. It was a late roll. Everyone, sh- everyone shut no, up. No, say no. Your order. I mean, I, I'm ready napkin. to go. You're ready to go. That is your order. You don't say your order. You don't have to take. You that can seriously. say almost anything, and it's going to play. Here comes a Joker. Say your order. Joker. He's not going to put you on trial. I'll forgive you. He's not putting on, you on, on trial, dude. As soon as you won on the behalf on case a, race, dude. Over a billion people. Not the dude who say came in order. fourth place on the chase on the case race, trying to put you on trial. Dude. That was hurtful. This will exonerate you from everything. You, on trial. you don't have to answer anything. Nobody is trying to put Shane on trial. People are putting you on trial. Fucking Wilk. I'm putting. You want to put me on? Trial. Adderall. Oh, you gotta you. use Washington. Me against you, dude. Without your PEDs, dude. Without <laughs> offer it. Oh, Say it. Say your order. Here's my order. Yo, get fired. Get fucked. Get <laughs> <wasn't> fired. <laughs> I will make sure you don't work here anymore. No, say your order. For real. Jay. What a oh, stupid. Real. Oh, Jay's coming. Oh, oh say your order. Yeah, for real. Fair, fair, fair. Fair. He's an idiot. Jay, your no. order. No. He wants to wrestle. Seven on seven. He wants to wrestle now. He wants to wrestle now. 
<laughs> oh no! Read it. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Hey, guys, he's our guest on our show. I don't mind it. Referee, referee, referee. Jay, just say your order. Say your real order. Like it. Hold on. Say your real order. Say your real order. Yeah, I like it. Shane, say your real order. <laughs> say your real order. Why the fuck is this dude in here trying to fight? Say your real order. <laughs> say your real order. Hold on. Yo, for real. Yo, th is this your office? No, just say your order. Hold on. Are these your office workers? Yes. Say your order. Make sure this office worker isn't trying to fight me right now. Say your now. order. Just say your order. Can't Come on. Try okay, to fight say your order. order. As a guest. Say your order. No, no, no. Just As say your real order. As a guest. Come on. Bros. Why would I come down here? As a guest, as a guest, you can't try to fight him. No, 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 he's gonna say his real order. He's gonna say as his a real guest. Order. As a guest, you can't try to fight a guest, especially Jay, a fall guest back. You lose to. Jay, fall all the way back, brother. Why are you Dude, trying to fight me, you Jay? dumbass? Jay, you can't be fighting. You can't be fighting. Love oh, this. <laughs> Love that was it. the highlight of the that was <laughs> love. Uh, why did he out of nowhere try to fight me? Yeah, I don't know. As a what guest, happened. you can't try and fight the guest, dude. You yeah. just can't do oh, it. Tell me, dude. You gotta listen to that, and then you gotta go on the JRE experience. Yeah, debate. A debate. He needs to listen to that doctor. <laughs> that fucking that dork, dude. I hate that. He needs to come down dork, from his dude. ivory tower, dude. I was so mad at him, and all those people being like, You're "We really need to protect this man at all costs." Did he invent the vaccine or something? No. Yeah, they're acting like he. he yeah. What the hell did the guy do? I forget. He. I don't think he's ever done anything. For real? I think he helped patent one of the. Watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> well, then how am I gonna get to the gym? <laughs> Call an Uber. <laughs> Call an Uber to the grocery store. <laughs> then what? I'm just stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Did you see that? What? Uh, there, there was a, a thing. Someone's ring doorbell foot. That was actually kind of invasion. Yeah. Right? Oh. Bullshit. Wait. What was it? Uh, what was it? I think I might have seen it. There's this guy. <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy. guy. <laughs> no, but I will say this: they're hitting with abusive, and it's like, no. Yeah, that was being a brat is being a brat, but it's <laughs> not abusive. <laughs> brat. Wait, was it fucking? Uh, what's his name? Crowder. Yeah, it was Crowder. Crowder. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, that video was crazy. <laughs> and who knows what she did before that, dude? <laughs> she might be taking the car a lot. This was but a they, while but ago. They said there was yeah. a cut. They said there was a cut interlude. They had that, and then they had the <laughs> cut, and they're like, oh, at this point in the cut, he said he beat her fucking ass, and it was like. I saw uh, that and I went, maybe, but also, I need yeah. to see. The, show me the. Tape. He was really mad. He was angry. He was yeah. furious. He was, he was actually sitting just like mad yeah, is right yeah. now. Yeah, he, was like, he was. Watch it. I mean, that's watch like it. for angry and being in that position. That's like an intimidating. Dude, thing. I will say yeah, this. And, you know, if you're already fighting with your wife and then she becomes pregnant, there's not like an easy off switch. To be like, all right, I'm not gonna fight with her while she's. Yeah. You can fight with a pregnant lady. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, I fought with a pregnant lady, dude. I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's not my proudest moment, but it's like you do do it, and you're like, what am I doing? So yeah, I did feel badly that got released. I was like, that is really shitty. How did it get released? Did she release she it? She must. She crushed him. Although again, she could have been, he could have been torturing her behind. Who knows, dude? I tried to speak on abuse the was affairs. strong though in that, particularly in that video. Yeah, he was just bragging. What were they saying? He was gaslighting her. I mean. Was, Anytime you win an argument with a woman, <laughs> I mean, I mean that, that was a straw man. You gaslight me. Like, he was, he you was don't even know what these words mean, idiot. <laughs> he was bludgeoning her with logic, dude. He bludgeoned her with logic. <laughs> logic dude. He sat down with the coffee and said, prove to me that I'm not right. <laughs> Change my Change mind. Prove that I'm wrong. Yeah. Change my mind about taking an Uber right now. <laughs> you should pick Watch up the dog poop. Change my mind. <laughs> He's just always got the sign on him, just in a bag. That'd be yeah, nice though, to be yeah, in the middle of an argument, <laughs> yeah. just like one second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can that take an nice Uber. Though. Change my mind, dude. Yeah. If I could go into like girl mind and just like if I'm his wife, I would just be sitting there and being like, I mean, I don't know. I think like drag story time is not that big of an idea. Oh, you could. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. You're the mother of my child. Watch it. <laughs> Throwing out a watch it to anyone is just insane. Watch it's unbelievable. That's just so insane. Nice. Watch it's unbelievable. It's so nice. Because I'm one your age, too. Fucking watch it. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Cool it. Cool it. Change your tone. 
<laughs> You're on thin ice. You're on fucking <laughs> thin ice. <laughs> you gotta turn off the dinner time Fox News, dude. Yeah. You might mentally time travel, dude. I've, dude, I was watching Fox News and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was eating dinner. I was I was locked in. I am Until they get you. Between specials, I did turn into a Fox News dad. A hundred percent. You're gonna start taking up the be like Watch it, pal. Hey, I'm, buddy. Yeah, I'm trying hey, to. You creep. <laughs> it's my dad's top shit. Creep. You creep. You guys being a creep. Dude, he would get up if we were out eating when we were little. And, like if there was like teenage <laughs> boys cursing. You know, we had a pizza place in like the Poconos, and he'd go over the table and be like, "You creep, stop cursing. Knock it off. I have kids here." And they'd be wow. like, "Like, watch your mouths, dude." It was so funny. That's nice. He that's lived a, for that's it. That's a badass move. Punks. Kids not the fuck out of Punks. Dude, snot nose punks. Kids like, do. Yeah, it's because you're homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are those? <laughs> I've never even seen one of those. I once. just don't want to get bullied by a group of kids. Yeah, of course. I cross the street when they when I see them coming my way. Really? What type yeah. of kids do you cross the street for? <laughs> yeah, all of them. School zone. Just in a school zone. <gasps> I live kind of in a school zone, and they're always running around outside my house. I f- they were one of them was filming a TikTok outside of my apartment. Awesome. And I was playing video games with my friends. I took up. I stood up to take a picture of them, and they saw me take the picture uh, and with a headset stood on. Stood out, yeah, with my headset Fuck. on and pajama pants, <laughs> and they and they stood outside of my apartment waving at me until I went out and said something. We had to go out and address you them. Yeah, address the I had to address them. And they were, like, they were like, did you just take a video of us? And I was like, no. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about? Ooh. And then, uh, real they, were, they, were, they were like teens. They weren't, they weren't children. And uh, still, bro. And they asked if I could buy them Taylor Swift yeah, tickets. That Wait, are, are, you're old enough to like date a 16-year-old by common law, right? 22. Can you take like a 16-year-old to prom or something your age? Uh, n- I think schools it caps out at like 18 oh really or depending on the school i don't think i don't think high schools want like 22 I thought year you olds marry like a 22 year old rolling I up you to marry like a 16 year old <laughs> probably there's windows if you like if you, were to, if you were if you were to like there's 22 if you were to hold year old like a 17 yeah. year old and listen to brian adams i think you'd be okay mm. yeah. I, don't do it obviously don't do it <laughs> yeah. check your Maybe. local law but yeah check your local listings you might be able to do that. <laughs> oh, that would be horrifying. Why? That'd be awesome. Seventeen year olds? You don't they're you don't so, they're so funny. <laughs> you know <laughs> Their pussies are so funny. I just want to talk to them. <laughs> Jesus Harry what the hell, dude. Their tight Harry. young pussies are hilarious. <laughs> I mean you're probably legally allowed to say that at your age. You are. I was watching a, I was watching Marie Antoinette. Have you ever seen that movie? No. It's pretty I just I know made, of her. It was making me laugh at the beginning. Austria gives Marie Antoinette to France as like an like yeah. they're like we need to become allies and like solidify this. It's just funny to see them being like, "Here's a sweet little piece of pussy for you." <laughs> yeah, Drew. Deal. We're friends <laughs> yeah. now. Here's a 14 year old's pussy. We're gonna send it over there. <laughs> well, the whole country was. What was the whole? They hated her, right? Towards the end, yeah. Towards the end, yeah. They cut her fucking head off. <laughs> but yeah, they, I know they did that. But at first, weren't they kind of like? Because you would send like one country a young babe, and they'd all be like, "Yo, for real, like we should get along." Yeah, they, babe, yeah. They would worship one babe and be like, she uh, is I think the future. I think they liked Marie Antoinette at first, at least yeah. according to the movie. She I was saw. cultured, wasn't she? She like came down and was like, "This is how you use a spoon." Mm, I'm not sure. Farmers were like, the oh, movie fuck. was, I doubt, extremely accurate historically. Yeah. Um, God, that must suck, dude. They cut her head off. Yeah, Ooh, it was making me laugh thinking about that fucking Louis bit, the fucking first world problems bit. Which one? Where he's just like explaining. He invented like the first world problems, I think. Did he coin the term? Yeah, he did it in a special. That's pretty sick. He was like, first world problems are like, whatever, like this line's taking too long or something. He's like, third world problems are like, you wake up one day and you're like, oh, fuck, I forgot they're going to cut all our heads off. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, they're cutting all our heads off today. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) The whole time I was watching it, I was like, God, I can't wait till they cut all these people's heads off. Yeah. Just gay Frenchmen running around. In yeah. their fucking dumb outfits, like woo, woo, woo. <laughs> love making and the passion. I'm like, there's just hungry dudes outside that are dirty. They're like, we're getting in there. I'm gonna cut those fucking fruitcakes heads off, dude. I'm starving. <laughs> they just partied for like 20 years, and then they all got their heads cut off. <laughs> what was what was the name of the place they were all hanging? Versailles. Out? Versailles. Yeah. yeah. Just being absolutely in the nicest, fruity. literally the nicest place of all time. Oh. And they're in there. They, yeah. Having drinks, fucking each other. Everybody was fucking everybody. Yeah, everyone had a mistress and shit yeah. back then. Marquis de Lafayette. He was yeah. he was uh, he was like ousted from the court because he wouldn't cheat. 
Yeah. Everyone was like, dude, you're being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you around our crew. They were all getting pussy on the side. <laughs> yeah. Don't think you're better than us. And then they all got their heads cut off. Did he get his head cut off? No. Or? But he got a lot of him. He had a lot of problems. He was in jail a lot. It's better than having your head get cut off. Yeah. Especially they probably had dull ass blades back then. <laughs> Just, oh. Yeah. Fuck, oh. it didn't take. It's like a paper cutter. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Head cut off is pretty funny. Yeah. Have you ever seen any of those videos? Yes. The live leakies? Yeah. I've, I've, I've honestly... I have virgin eyes when it comes to that stuff. It's, it's not, not good. Like, it's not good. Especially never, the beheadings on there are never... It's never it's a It's never a clean yeah. It's always a knife <laughs> and a fucking... Yeah. You see the guy going like... Argh. Yeah. Jesus. Does hey. anyone get a clean cut? <laughs> Jesus, <sweet>? mister. <laughs> Does anyone get a clean cut? Yeah, I think those... I think the <clears throat> Afghanis and Saudis got it down pretty good. That's not bad. They were hitting... I think the Taliban used to hit like soccer stadium beheadings. And they were, they were one Oh, yeah, and the whole slice. town comes whole out for town it. would be like, dude... Oh really? Like, what are you doing after work? Rocks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think there's something we miss about that, like public justice, like brutal public justice. I think there's something that if, if we seek it online, dude. True. That's why I was just mad at that science dork. True. Yeah. That was my public behavior. I just want to see him like, crucify. Dude, I want to see Joe. one person debate someone who knows anything. I've never seen anyone do it yet. What if he just pantses RFK Jr. Fair dude? enough. <laughs> That'd be so fun. I'd be so sad. But dude. I don't think he will because they had something close to it. Rogies almost kind of debated himself a little bit. Who was the guy who went on Rogies and tried to like, oh, fucking that oh, I weirdo yeah. Sanjay Gupta? Yeah. yeah. Sanjay Gupta tried to go on and there. Rogies <laughs> stomped him. <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. And it was like, a bloodbath. It was a total fucking bloodbath. And they're like, oh, this guy, what's he going to eat? Fucking elk meat and talk about wrestling. That's it's what like, I'm well, then beat him in a debate. You're Bro, the CNN guy. You're a medical doctor. Yeah. I, Rogi stomped them in that debate. It was a bloodbath. That's dude. probably why they're like, <laughs> can't go in there. Well, because they get into the funding and the funding. They, is also, really they don't understand. Freaking. Rogi's has been investigating this for three years now. True, like nonstop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he got fucking crucified. I love watching the videos of of Rogan getting mad at people. Yeah, it's kind of his nice. guests. Have you ever seen the one of him of the dude asking if he could like do the podcast, like take over the podcast for a week? You've never seen that? No. If Rogan was like. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he's like, he's like, what do you have to offer me that would be equal to me giving you this platform for a full week? And the guy's like, I just think it'd be like a really good idea. A really good yeah. idea. I think it'd be good for me. Yeah. Who uh, was it? Probably, do you remember? I don't know, yeah. but that guy definitely was in the shower, being like, he might be into the ideas like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a pretty open-minded guy. <laughs> and Here then everyone see that I'm actually great. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> 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 Oh shit, 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 shit. Just fucking kill me. Dude. Just fucking kill me right now. Nightmare. Yeah, I, was, I bombed on there and that was bad, dude. That was yeah. cutting our fucking heads off. Yeah. I wish someone would have cut my head off down. right then, dude. And that was early in the episode. I wish too. Jamie what would was have that fucking, 30 minutes oh, in. Oh, yeah. Red face, just like yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> what up? You're back in the heartland. I'm back home, dude. Back in my mommy and daddy's basement. That's that's a good feeling, dude. I'm in my basement right now. It's a nice feeling to be at mommy and daddy's. This is where you podcast the best, dude. This was the last. Yeah, we did an episode down here. I'm in the same spot. It was cited by the press. The press did say that we called Southern soldiers so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, um, man. How are you? Chilling, dude. I'm, I'm getting my... Um, my whole squad. I, I got a right now. I'm point man for the whole squad. Jackson's got diarrhea. Matilda's uh, being generally weird. So I got to. I have to. My dog takes dumps diarrheas in my backyard. Drops piles basically. So yeah, I have to watch. Three days I've been on dump watch, being like, "Come on, drop. Just show me some kind of thing resembling a, like a proto turd." Because when it turns, when his diarrhea turns, there's like, it'll be kind of like yeah. you know slippery little slugs. I'm like, just uh, trust me. I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know when that diary turns, what you're working with. <laughs> yeah. That's the light at the end of the tunnel, dude. I'm waiting for the light at the end of the That's tunnel. That's when you, you're looking for the curve to flatten on the dog diary. Exactly. You're trying I, to flatten I, you know, that people curve. Are, people are saying I'm too optimistic, too hopeful. Giving Bro, me shit, saying it's how, great, how great is our God, dude? He's doing it. My president right now is doing a good job. My all president. Right. You can slander him all you want. Slander him all you want. But our president, sorry he was optimistic. Sorry. Yeah. 
Sorry, he wasn't some experimental doom and medicine leftist dude. that's just trying to get authoritarianism passed. But we're not going to let it. Facebook's already starting their like tracers and stuff. Facebook and Facebook and Google are already like, oh, we're already working on this thing to track people. It's like, okay, guys, you yeah, guys knock it off. You guys are think tinkering on that, and that's all you guys do. What are you talking about, dude? People are getting red pilled left and right. Yeah, man. It's I sick. was just talking to I was just talking to Claire. She just got red pilled. She, she was like, I didn't know, uh, I didn't know Bill Gates was such a bad guy. I was like, Whoa. and she was like, doesn't Donald Trump like say deep state? Like, I think he's trying to help us. I was like. <laughs> She got Trump's the white hat red pilled. No, she gets mad anytime I like give it. If I give Trump a compliment, she like spazzes out. But she did. Say but she it. did get red pilled hard on him saying deep state during like pressers, and then she just found out Bill Gates was shitty. Yeah, Bill Gates is a bastard, dude. Bill Gates He's going Bill around. Gates, kind of- we need to knock his block off. Dude. We've talked about it before. He's been going around like yeah. just circumcising people in Africa, just all willy nilly. Just yeah, he's practicing eugenics on brown people. I don't like that. That's what the elites love to do. He is he is going into Dong Wakanda, dude, and trying to mess with the the essence. He cannot the pure Dong. He's trying to go all the pure Dong, the mother Dong. But as a computer dork, it is that's a noble cause oh, to be like a pent up computer nerd and then be like, I'm gonna destroy the Dongs. <laughs> dude, that's bullshit. Like work your way from your garage the whole way to Africa. And now you're, <laughs> no, actually, all right. I'm coming around on Bill Gates. I'm talking so that, my way into like. So that's been uh, because that's Bezos's ultimate vision is to like get us into space. Gates might be to like conquer the African dong. <laughs> the, might, <laughs> the dark continent, dude. The dong continent. <laughs> He's been having dude. fever dreams since he was a young programmer, huh? dude. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mom. <laughs> he wakes up like. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was there. It was on my face. It covered my forehead and my what chin. What is it, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> it was an Arabian gas mask down to my chin. It was punched it. Belly button. It I thought it was a triple it. chin. It was the head of a dong. It was there. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm going to Africa. I'm going to cut them up. <laughs> Damn, dude. I didn't even think about it. He might have had something to do with Kobe. Bro, you, th- you think? He did a no. TED talk three years ago, being like, "We got to watch out for uh, horrible, like you know, transmittable diseases or whatever." He's been calling epidemic. This is the new terrorism, dude. Nobody cares about ISIS anymore. That that died with, you know, the Clinton Foundation. People are like, oh, yeah, Whoa. those those guys we were scared of in the fucking desert on dirt bikes. It's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we were kind of wrong about them. <laughs> yeah, they do love whipping people into a frenzy. And I'll admit, they got me. They got the guys on the dirt bike. Well, I will say guys on dirt bikes are always a problem. <laughs> that no matter where they by are. fucking weed whacker motors. Dude. <laughs> 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 they had us. <laughs> you hear a light buzz around your town, you know you're in trouble, dude. On the distance, a couple of Yamahas come screeching up. Some dude in a Lionel Messi jersey and a black <laughs> scarf on his face is going to kill a gay dude. <laughs> I heard there were gay men in this <laughs> in this town. <laughs> That's so funny when they're like, all right, we got to get over there. We got to hit the White House and they get on soil. And they're like, oh, shit, a gay nightclub, blah, 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 blah. They just can't fucking <laughs> yeah, stay on task. Yeah, yeah. They're like, There's I got no it. way. Yeah, they get to America. Like, they're gonna they're gonna fuck us up. They're gonna blow up the <laughs> White House. Like, dude, they got like one night. We got one retarded gay dude to attack a gay club. That's all they did. <laughs> he got here. He's like, "What's the mission? Attack the White House?" And he was like, uh, "Let me let me go see a gay bar." I've been hanging out this club. <laughs> he probably let loose, dude. It was like, oh, "I can't let this get back to anyone." I think that guy was an American citizen. True. True. I think that guy was literally from like Orlando. <laughs> it was just like one day was like I'm with ISIS. Yeah, that was definitely a psycho. But it's a good convert though. Yeah, yeah. That was like Age of Empires. They used one of those priests and just fucking turned one of our guys into theirs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> he just attacked. <laughs> they fucking got it. <laughs> All right. You need sustenance right now. Cronies from these yellow fudges. That's what happens. Yeah. I mean, I, they'll, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably eat dinner with them. I'll probably sit at dinner. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll kill them. If yeah. I do that. It's a good time to kill them if you want to kill them. You could kill them right now. Just murder them. They'll count them as yeah, COVID. You, if you murdered your parents right now, they'd like come in with like a head wound and be like, COVID. <laughs> One, two, four. Okay. Here it we was go. COVID's <laughs> breaking people's heads open. Uh, <laughs> Is my internet fucking up? Is that happening? A little bit. For you? It's a little. It is a little bit fucking up. Pause it up. Let's jump. We'll see uh, something. Disconnect and reconnect. 
my mom doesn't know the password to log on to her computer. Say what? You know, the, like the passcode for mm-hmm. a, a user. She does not know that. So if the computer, like I restarted the computer last time I was here, that was chaos for a week. <laughs> she, she couldn't do work. <laughs> I mean, it's, and it's a fight. And then she gets nervous. Cause I'm, you know, I'm not the nicest guy. You're ticking so time like, bomb, dude. You got the pin. Out, a, you got a pin out of the grenade. Look, mom, if I'm trying to play Total War on <laughs> your computer in your office, I need the fucking password. <laughs> and then when I find out you don't know your own computer password, I'm, I'm gonna get fired up. You're gonna have a salty son. You're gonna start playing Total War in real, real life. Gonna be t- I'm gonna bring a brigade to her fucking gut, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> punch her in the belly. <laughs> yes. How's everybody happy to see you, or what? What's going on? Yeah, they were happy. I could tell they were happy to see me, but it's just my mom and dad. My sister is over at my other sister's house, so gotcha. that's good. That's gotcha. nice because she's the one who would definitely die. Yeah, you're. That's good. Did she move? Did they move her in the night when they heard you were coming. They <laughs> must have, dude. <laughs> they heard the dirt bikes rumbling up from Virginia. <laughs> they knew I was coming to kill the <laughs> sick women. I think someone's blasting music upstairs, and I am about to fucking spaz on is, my mom is again. Is it the Alexa? Dude. It's, you know, turn the Alexa Hold off. Your... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my Spotify, so I can fucking. What you going to hit him with? Every time she makes dinner, she puts on some gay bullshit. Like right now, she's listening to Carol King. It's always Carol King. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got a friend. What should, what should I fucking blast right now, dude? I mean, What's how. The best. How teaser? wicked. The, the Skrillex one, is funny. Skrillex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you go old school, DMX is pretty tight. Project Chicks, pretty sick. <laughs> 504 boys do wobble wobble. Be tight. <laughs> wobble wobble right now on full blast in the kitchen. <laughs> wobble wobble. It's on. Hold on. Oh, oh my God. Do you got wobble wobble playing? It's so loud they can't yell over the Alexa <laughs> to tell it to <laughs> Listen, drop it, drop it. <laughs> wobble wobble. Yes. <laughs> They're up there. They're getting nuts, dude. I hear movement. <laughs> oh my god. So right now she's cooking and they're just blasting the fire. She's cooking. Wobble wobble, wobble is blasting in the kitchen. <laughs> they're screaming right now. She's screaming, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa, not in my house. Alexa. Alexa. Hi, hey, damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's always fun. That's a nice oh, treat. Man. That is so fun to switch to music. Mama, I'm doing the podcast. <laughs> damn it. Dude, that's the, in the words of every great podcast. I'm just kidding, Mom. Mom, I'm doing the podcast. Mom, Shut I'm up. not ready for dinner. I'm doing the podcast. <laughs> Brittany will shower. If she flushes the toilet or like God drains damn. the bathtub, the water comes rushing down. I'm like, Brittany, stop taking a shower. I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is exactly where everybody would imagine me. Yeah, man. You know, triumphant. Parents' basement. Triumphant. Um, Dude, I, uh, I don't want to brag, but I had a wet dream. First time in my life, two days ago. Jizz in your sleep? Yep, first time in my life, jizzed in my sleep. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. In your sleep. <laughs> Couldn't so believe it. You, what were you dreaming about? Your wife. Unidentified. It was an unidentified sexual object in my dream. You ever do that? Object? Which is a total mystery. Oh, person. What is a mystery person? I have my theories on who it was. I think it was probably some sort of spiritual entity. But uh, and it was funny. It was her. I think it was her, bro. She you think was, it was Santa Maria. She was cruel to me last my last deep dive. She was cruel. She was a what happened? Harsh mistress to me. Why was she mean to you? It was just wicked, dude. I I, I think it was really because I'm sleep deprived. I was trying to do deep dives on like a collective like. Where well, you got negative. high and thought that you were a loser? No, oh, not not even close, dude. I I got too close. To then the how was she too. cruel to you? Because the, the usually so you know when you get real stoned and your body just gets that like real weird kind of like vibrating feeling. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? You I get like voice? itchy. See, I don't get my whole body just feels like it's not like hollow, but it's like everything's kind of like vibrating in a weird way. And I used oh to yeah, to fight, I remember this. Yeah. yeah, I used to try to fight that off. Now I don't, that's Santa Maria's hold, dude. I go into that, and yeah, I went into she's just it shaking you around. And I went into it, and it was just God you know, damn my eye. I, my thoughts were just totally disordered and chaotic, and just I said, "You bitch." 
why'd you do this to fucking me? Fucking idiot bitch, stop rattling me. And then she came back and I she let me prone but do the prone bone in a wet dream, dude. It was pretty tough. You did the proning? Prone bone, dude. I dude, I mean I you want to talk. Oh man. Some good place. And he fully jizzed in your sleep. Honey, well, it was a it wasn't a well, it felt like it, it was when pre-com. I checked. When I checked, it was like a quarter load. It was one it was it was a pot shot, dude. It was, it was one <laughs> it was just a quick <laughs> And I woke up and it was so funny. Are you I moaning in your sleep? I don't know. It was just one quick. As soon as I, you know, as soon as I got in a prone bone, you know, it was yeah. over. She squeezed. One time uh, I was, I was in a hotel and Kyle and Six were in the other bed. We were on the road and I, I, you know, I didn't jizz, but I was having a sex dream and Kyla, Kyla was awake and just heard me laying there like, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? I sleep like nice. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think I said anything. I was just like, it was all happening so fast. Uh, stop itching my eye. I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I cannot. Say, dude, my mirror my, neurons triggered you when you did that. I did it. Monkey see, monkey do. My allergies. My allergies got wild. Yeah. Wild. How yeah, dude. My like eyes. That? My eyes were like crusted over when I woke up. Like full fucking. Like I had ray. hay fever, bro. You were ray, dude. I had like, hay mama, fever. Mama, what's happening to my eyes? Yeah. Except there's no one there for me. I just had to holler in the dark, dude. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I Mama. did try to holler for my mom. <laughs> I suck right now. I'm sorry. You're, dude, you're fucking, what are you talking about? You're crushing. But yeah, dude, okay. I had a, I woke, immediately popped up. I was like, couldn't be true. Checked my boxers. I was like, yes, finally. That, that bothered me. I never had a wet dream before. I don't think I really ever had one. I, I get, you know, the pre-com occasionally. I, I think never, that's the most I ever got. I, it was always like a fight type thing when I'd, I'd start having sex and either wake up or it would just kind of like, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it, dude. Yeah. I think it's the fact that I've been sleeping in boxers. Ever since I have a daughter, I started wearing boxers when I sleep because I have to like be yeah, bowels yeah. out of a slumber and like burp her and stuff. And it just like, you don't, want dong. you don't want dong involved in that. Yeah. You don't want to be holding your baby. Naked. I don't yeah. know, I've done it. I've held her naked, like carried her to a bassinet naked in the middle of the night. And I was like, it's just weird. I should keep. I just got to wear boxers now. It is what it is. Dude, I will. You got to you cover your dong. At all times, it's covered. Basically, you have a chastity belt. But I woke up with, and I haven't like woken up with like boxer morning wood. Dude, I, I was like giving myself a wedgie. The one morning I woke up, I was wooded out and it's my fucking boxers. Were just, yeah. I bought I was like, this fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like it. I like that. I don't mind a good boner in the boxers. It looks Bo- good. A little boner wedgie? No, I, but I was like, I felt like I had like a minor wedgie. I was like, what? This yeah, is fucking dude. bizarre. Your dick was bullying you. <laughs> yeah. he's getting your lunch money dude <laughs> yeah. but yeah man that was tight so i you know i probably have some sort of like i mean the fact that i've spread my seed into the cosmos is you know i'm Same surprised it could be rewarding this. you with that prone that's what i'm saying i basically have a demigod just floating around now half definitely half man half fucking santa maria dude half I'm man half little... weed edibles <laughs> <laughs> Who that? You want to be Phil? Big Phil? No, throw what's he want? There he is, dude. Big Phil. <laughs> God damn, you look good. Can't hear him. He says I can't hear him. He can't I heard hear you. you. You look good. Tell me, he looks yeah. good. You say something nice to the people. Just anything. Happy Easter to everyone, and good luck getting through the uh, coronavirus during these challenging times. We'll only be stronger when we're done. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I was looking for my beer. Looking for your beer? It's not in here. Okay. You might have infected him, bro. He might have just, yeah, you might have just died. But that was a good last message. <laughs> you might have just got the COVID, little COVID for Philly. <laughs> little COVID for Philly. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't die. Goddamn sweats. <laughs> Something that Oprah would wear. Okay, beat it. He said, I'm going to die dressed like Oprah. <laughs> In my tracksuit. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, dude, he loves it. He loves getting on that camera. Oh, dude. See how happy he was? He, dude, he lit up immediately. That Turner GMC hat. Thing was like a, dude, he's, he's still got the fucking little kid 90s camera, camera shy. When you, you know what I mean? When you were like a little kid and they'd throw a camera in your face, you'd be like, what? hi, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> when are you going to get him a MAGA hat, dude? He's dying for one. Phil, you have a MAGA hat? Do you have a Trump hat? I have one that's... <laughs> he has one. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, beat it. I know what you're doing. <laughs> He's double fist. Get out of here. <laughs> He's partying, bro. <laughs> He's cracking Miller lights. <laughs> he was one of the USA ones. That's what's up. He's got with the presidential USA with the four or five on the side. Of a mil- oh, oh, of the of the just a big block USA. Trump hat? Yeah. God it's a sick hat. It's pretty tight. Um sorry yeah, about man. that. No, that's dude. That was uh yeah, so that that's what the book's about, how it changed our brains in order to be able to sit down and like focus on a text. It was like our brains were designed to like see like a fly and be like, what the fuck's that? And look around. And yeah. it, you know, it, it, it wasn't not for a bad way, but it rewired our brains to just like sit and stare at a certain thing. The computer, where the computers are weird is that it's rewiring our brains around addictive technology, which is like in like very overtly addictive technology with like Facebook, Instagram. We're being, we're rewiring our brains around like almost like we're playing slot machines 24 7 dude if i don't have my phone like i've been making an effort to stop i do it all the time i make an effort to stop looking i start feeling bad dude and i can't check the fucking stuff i start i can't scroll i'm just really like, yeah dude it, it has its hooks in me man it's no i'm sure and me it's too, everybody, man. everybody's doing it all at the same time so nobody my phone it. my phone died this morning i went that was another thing that added to the front seat dilemma i was no phone oh i was just a four and a half hour drive no phone I was, it was war mode. Yeah, you can't sleep with a baby in a bed because you'll roll over and crush them. Dude, I actually got into my, I had to make a genogram for my family therapy class. So I had to go through my mom's side of the family, my dad's side of the family. Nice. A lot of kids dying, dude. <laughs> a lot of dead kids. What? Why? Like, on, on like, my, like my grandfather's family. All right, Both so going back then, yeah, that's a lot of dead kids. Yeah, but I'm territory. talking. I'm not talking just like just like some polio, dude. I'm You're talking, talking like the '80s. <laughs> no, no, no. no <laughs> like I'm, I'm 1983. Back then, I'm, no, I'm talking back in the uh, you know in the day in like 1950 yeah. and stuff. But I'm talking like one of my so there was on my mom's side, my like mom's mom had a brother. Oldest brother was Thomas. Died at like one years old. They had another kid right after him, named him Thomas. They did a Thomas 2.0, which nice. I'm like, so fucking funny. And then there was my, one of my great whatever relatives, 18 months, just slipped out of his mother's arms and fell into the Schuylkill and died. Pretty fucking gritty. Another one fell off like a wagon. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What was this accident? This accident? Yeah, dude. It was like my mom. My baby accidentally fell into the river. Popped out of her arms, bro. Schuylkill was probably raging, dude. The Schuylkill was raging. I was like, Brittany was like. Wait, the baby fell into the water? They fell in the water, dude, in the Schuylkill. The baby fell into the water in the Schuylkill? 18 months, dude. She could, it, shaped, it shaped my family's psychology, dude. It was like yeah. my great-grandmother. Who did this? Who I had postpartum my, depression and just threw? Well, I think it was my great-grandmother. Your great-grandmother was a murderer and threw Great-grandmother on the first side. My great-grandmother was a snail. My great-grandmother on my dad's mom's side. So my, my grandmother's grandmother was married to a guy and then one of their two children fell into the skewkle and died and How old then obviously was this? it was a baby that fell 18 months i call out. murder slipped i'm calling murder he jumped bro he was 18 months he sprung up <laughs> the skewkle was probably flying that day he was gone washed down he was done and so that's then, when you can jump in after right away that's what i thought Brittany's like and they jump in decent after chance I, baby sink bro yeah this was a murder it's the bottom you come from a line of murderers and thieves of infanticides dude we would never do something like that in the gillis kilkenny <laughs> the gillis kilkenny lineage dude it was horrible dude it was like i was going through how all come this you're stuff. not acknowledging this definite murder it was an accident dude my great great granddad yeah, why aren't you admitting that uh, it's probably a murder if it was a 18 month old that they, ended up on in the a river Sunday boat stroll dude she can't she didn't just dump them it was the <laughs> they were on the boat she was just like oh, oh. the baby sprung well, the, the baby went Whoa. dude i would jump in after my cell phone i mean yeah it's that lady so- left to fucking it sunk dude the skookle flies you ever go in the skookle i've seen the skook skookle it does move fly. I agree, dude. But- a lot of people die in the skookle every year actually Usually from murder. <laughs> Usually from some form of murder. Yeah, man. There was that. There was, I think, someone fell off a wagon or some shit and died way back when on the other side. There was a, I was like, damn, dude. Yeah. The OG McCusker slash Kearney lineage is butt fucked with like yeah. child death of like not even just like sick of like accidental. I was like, dude, that's fucked. Mm. Falling out, just 
boating because they were like, oh, one kid died in a boating accident. I was like, what happened? Because I got all this info off my hand. I'm like, what happened? They're like, 18 months. I think it's like slipped out, popped out of the arms, washed up. And then it's a fumble. <laughs> <laughs> fumble. That was a fumble rooski, bro. That was a Nate Newton, dude. She was running towards the end zone. That's a fumble rooski. And God popped her out. Yeah. I saw pictures of this lady, too. She looked like she was like she harboring. Yeah, she looked fucking pissed. You better not picture. say her name, dude. She might haunt you. I'm not, I might get haunted. There's a lot of family curses that are built on stuff like this, dude. I thought about that before I started. I'm like, I'm getting it haunted for this. But again, well, it's like, put it. I'm putting it out there. Put it out there, dude. It's like. Dude, that, that lady's going to come, dude. You have to fight her. Family's hex, dude. That's, a he, that's hex stuff. What type of bitch do you think put this on your fam? I don't know. Probably someone back in the old country, dude. Back when we were kings of Northern Ireland. You would be Northern Ireland, you fucking prot, dude. Not a prot, bro. We we fled. We were Catholics. We had fled. We fled to uh, Munster. My family was kings, dude, up there, and they had to flee to Munster because your were, family, dude, kills babies. On it was a fucking accident, dude. <laughs> Jesus, man. My, they're gonna haunt you. I'll fuck them up, dude. I'm cleaning. I'm not accident. a baby, dude. They might try to toss me into the skook. Though. They might toss you into the skook. <laughs> I'd dude. sink like a stone. <laughs> <laughs> like Jack from Titanic, dude. I'd go straight to the bottom. Brittany did ask. That was a fair question. She's like, didn't they jump in after it? And I was like, I don't know. No, you got. And then life jackets, dude. I, I, <laughs> they're not gonna get wet. That thing probably went fucking straight to the bottom. Eighteen month old. They're like all bones and fat. That, that thing would just be like right to the bottom. I don't know what to tell you, man. I know you're defending your family's honor, but it could have been adrenochrome. Might have sold it to like Herbert Hoover. He might have munched. True. Hoove might have. Hoove's FBI might have munched on one of my kin, dude. What a <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Hoover's, uh, yeah. 